Hey guys, Greg Z here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blend two different materials with displacement in Redshift. Okay, so I've got a simple scene set up here with this uh, low poly plane. And for this tutorial, I found some textures on Megascans. And if we look at our hypershade, you'll see I've got these two materials set up here. And if you want to know how to set up a material like this uh, with displacement, uh, you can check out my tutorial on setting up displacement in Redshift. So, in order to blend these two materials together, I'm first going to create a Redshift Material Blender. And you'll see we've got a few different layers here. But I'm going to grab the Stone Shader and plug that under the Base Material Color Input. And I'm going to grab our second uh, Mud Shader and plug that into the first layer uh, Material Color Input. Now, in this case, I don't want to enable Additive as I don't want the values of our two materials being added together. What I want is a clean replacement based on the blend attribute over here. So because we've got displacement on both these shaders, I also need to create a redshift displacement blend node. And similar to the way we set up uh, displacement on our shaders here, I'm going to plug this uh, displacement blender under the Redshift Displacement Shader input of our Material Blender shading engine. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab both our displacements and plug them into the Displacement Blender. And once I've done that, I want to drive these two Blender nodes with a standard Maya Ramp node. And I'm just going to leave it as default for now. And I'm going to plug the output of our ramp into the blend color of our material blender. And I'm going to grab the red channel and plug that under the displace weight zero of our displacement blender. And the next thing I'm going to do is grab our plane and assign our material blender. So if I render this, you'll see that we're getting a fairly decent blend between our two materials and the displacement. But we can take this a step further. So I'm going to go back into our hypershade. And what I want to do is I want to affect our ramp with the original displacement of our base stone shader. So I'm going to create a new blend colors node. And in the color one attribute, I'm going to plug in the displacement texture. And I'm going to grab the ramp and plug that into the color two attribute of our blend colors node. And now I can grab this uh, blend colors node and use that as the input to our blend attributes on these two blender nodes. Okay, so now I want to visualize what this blend color node is actually doing. So I'm going to press this uh, little S button here. And we can see the result in the viewport. So what I want to do is use our ramp node to control this uh, blender attribute here. But I want to do it in a way where the black and white areas of our ramp remain consistent. And the middle gray area gets blended with our original displacement texture. So to do that, I'm going to create a remap value node. And I'm going to plug the red channel of our ramp into the input value. And plug the output value of our remap into the blender attribute of our blend colors node. And if we look at the viewport while we do this, I can go into the remap value input and output ranges section and I'm just going to set the output max to 0 and the output min to negative 0 0.9 and if we solo out our blend colors node you'll see that we're now getting a much nicer blend texture with the displacement cutting out the outline of the rocks in our ramp and this is going to give us a much nicer blend between the two different materials 
So I can also further tweak the effect of this ramp. And I can do that with a, another remap value node. And I'm going to grab the red channel of our displacement and plug the remap value into the color one attribute of our blend colors node. And I can use that to just further tweak the intensity of our displacement. So I'm going to set the output max to 1.5 and the output min to negative 0.5 and I can also use this uh, value graph here and that's going to give us a slightly stronger result so if I render this again you'll see that we're getting more of the stone texture coming through the middle section of our plane and we're getting more of the mud shader through these crevices in between all the rocks so one last thing I'm going to do is, because our displacements are both set around a midpoint value of 0.5, I'm actually going to grab the displacement blender and set it to additive mode. And you'll see that it's actually going to give us more of the original rock displacement in here and give us the effect that the mud is actually overlapping uh, the original surface where the rocks are. So if I keep this render and render it again, you'll see that when we switch between these two renders, we're getting more of the original stone displacement coming in through the muddy areas. So depending on the look that you're after, you can either use the uh, additive mode or tweak the values further with our remap value nodes. So that's a basic example of how to blend two different materials together using displacement from your base material. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section of this video. And for more tutorials like this one, feel free to subscribe to the Vertex Library channel.